Hey, you guys, welcome back. Oh, my family and I just got back from the most amazing winter vacation in St. Pete's, Florida. And with that vacation, um, there was definitely some struggles to stay on our carnivore ketovore diet. And I wanted to share some of that with you. So besides never really experiencing Florida before outside of just like going to Disney back in 09. Um, I've never seen ocean water in Florida specifically and the St. Petersburg area. We were in Treasure Island. Um, it was absolutely stunning, um, warm and just all of the things and going to Florida in February, it was a little unseasonably warm there, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, we were able to just get all of that sun and warmth and honestly, I feel kind of bad that I'm back home right now, but the point of this video was to share some of the struggles that we had while we were on vacation, trying to stay true to our new lifestyle that we really do love. Um, but also giving you guys some ideas on how we tried to really prepare for this trip in regards to food. All right, so planning ahead. We knew we were going on vacation, and so how are we going to plan? We chose to drive instead of fly, and so driving like 17 hours, 18 hours down there, uh, we stopped one time on the way down. So how did we plan ahead in regards to food? So my husband and I, we made six pounds of smoked bacon, <laughs> smoked and baked bacon. And we had two huge gallon Ziploc bags um, full of bacon and, you know, our little travel lunch bags. I also went to my grocery store and I bought some of these jerky sticks. This is called Nix Sticks and it is, there's two in a pack. They're fair, I mean, they're not too thin but um, it's 100% grass-fed beef, no artificial colors, MSG, soy, no added nitrates, nor no hormones um, or antibiotics or anything like that. So I bought a ton of these for the car ride in addition to our uh, ton, six pounds of bacon that we made. And then I also got the, it's called Chomps, also grass-fed and finished beef, um, all stick without the ick. Um, zero sugar. So I bought two different brands because if you have children, you know that some kids like something, some kids don't. So I found that um, Mia liked these, these NYX sticks. They do come in different flavors and whatnot. I just kept to the beef and they're very soft in the center. Um, yeah, like they're they're really, really soft in the center where I preferred, I'll eat these, these are fine, but I actually preferred the chomps better because it was a little firmer in the middle. Um, my son, Eli, he preferred the venison flavor over the beef flavor. And then my husband preferred from the Knicks, his favorite was the turkey, the turkey sticks. So I mean like, and then my daughter Eden wouldn't eat any of them. She's like, no, they're all gross, I don't like them. They said they taste too much like sausage. I don't know, but she doesn't like like spice, spiced kind of meat. So um, we had tons of these. I still have leftovers of these because I bought so many, but now I know what flavors in the future to buy for optimal um, eating. But this was really great, the bacon. And then we brought tons of string cheese, our kids and my husband and I, we do like string cheese. And that is literally all we ate on the drive down to Florida. And of course we had, you know, water and whatnot, but yeah, that was it. So once we got down to Florida, the first thing we did was we rented a condo. We were not in a hotel. We were like in a high rise condo on the ocean. And the first thing we did was find a local Walmart. So we went straight to a local Walmart and we bought, um, tons of ground beef, lots of bacon, sausage, like all the same stuff, right? Um, 
we brought so much cheese from home, like big, huge portions of Sam's Club cheese. So we didn't buy that, but you know, a little bit of whipping cream for my coffee. And so all of like the normal staples. So we were able to make and lots of eggs and we ended up going to Walmart. We were in Florida for about eight days, 10, eight to 10 days. And we ended up going to Walmart twice on our trip to buy food. And so, oh, and you know, a little bit of yogurt. And so that really, really helped to try to eat as many meals in the condo as possible. So we ate tons of over easy eggs every single morning with bacon, sausage. We had ground beef pretty, pretty much every single night with bacon and cheese. That was like pretty much our go-to. My husband picked out a few steaks. So we had a few night of steaks for just him and I, because the kids do like steak, but it's not their favorite. They would rather eat ground beef way more than steak. And that's fine. It's way cheaper. So, um, we kept our meals as simple as possible. So our big, our biggest struggles while we were on vacation was definitely when we were out and about and we weren't going to be able to get to the condo to eat our meals. And when you're on vacation, like traveling with your food is, um, you know, not really easy either. What? Yeah, go ahead. You're welcome sausage break. <laughs> um, so anyway, you know, we would stop at restaurants, right? You're on vacation. It's inevitable. You're going to be eating out. Um, one of the trips where we were on a boardwalk and the kids, Josh and I, we were not hungry. We were not hungry at all, but the kids were dying for food. And of course they were eating the beef sticks, except for Eden. You know, she had like a cheese stick that I was able to bring with her, but she refused to eat the, the beef sticks. And so we stopped at, um, a Bubba Gump's restaurant and I was like, okay, seafood. The kids don't love seafood, but it's something. So kids menus in America, obviously I knew this, but when you're really focusing on what you're putting in your body, the kids menus at restaurants totally suck. I'm just going to throw it out there. Everything is fried. Just everything is fried and it's just the worst choices. So um, again, you have to give yourself grace. And so I was just like, you know what? We're on vacation, we need to do our best, but it's not gonna be the end of the world if there's a few days of really poor eating. So, you know, Eden always ate cheeseburgers everywhere she went. So obviously besides eating the bread, since we don't eat grain anymore, um, you know, she ate cheeseburgers and that was fine. Um, there was a lot of, fried chicken strips and things like that. Um, but if I could choose like a keto option or just a carnivore option, you know, that's kind of the way we went. We went to, if you're in the St. Pete's area and you really like Mexican food, we did go to the grumpy gringo <laughs> and, um, it just looked really cool. I didn't even, I don't know what I was thinking. It was extremely hard to eat at the Grumpy Gringo. I don't, I love Mexican food, but I haven't eaten it in so long that I didn't really think about, oh, look at all the beans and look at all of the rice and the huge tortillas and like all the things. I was just thinking like meat and cheese, this should be fine. It was extremely hard to order there. So Josh and I, we just got like steak and cheese and there were some onions and tomatoes quesadillas and luckily they were huge portions and so we just like ate the insides of the quesadillas and we you know threw away the quesadilla um the kids had nachos I mean again this is just the hard the hard reality of when you're out of town and you don't have that much control over your eating situation but if you do love Mexican food and you are in St. Petersburg Florida the grumpy gringo and you want to like totally fall off the bandwagon with your keto and carnivore, um, go to the grumpy gringo. We definitely also struggled with all of the amazing ice cream shops that were in St. Petersburg. Um, we did out of the 10 days we were there, we did eat ice cream three times. And again, I'm not going to 
prevent myself or my family from having an amazing experience over food. I feel that that is a disordered way of thinking. And so we did indulge in some ice cream and because I know myself, I think if I was more, I am metabolically healthy. My husband is getting very close to being really good metabolically. Um, and my kids are not overweight at all and they're not metabolically unhealthy. So indulging in a little bit of ice cream when we're on vacation, I didn't feel that bad about it. Knowing what I know now about sugar and how damaging it is, like there was guilt, I will admit. There was guilt in indulging in that ice cream. Um, but at the end of the day, I know myself and I have no problem jumping right back on that bandwagon and you know, continuing to eat carnivore without any issues. I've not had any crazy sugar cravings or anything since our vacation and neither has my husband. Um, and so because we know that about ourselves and we know we're not gonna have an issue getting back on the carnivore, ketovore, you know, type of eating, we didn't have a problem occasionally on our 10 day trip indulging in some ice cream. So when you are on a trip, give yourself some grace. I definitely don't suggest if you are really metabolically unhealthy um, and you know personally, you know yourself that um, if you do indulge in that ice cream or you do have that slice of cake or whatever when you're on vacation, um, you know, too many times, you know that you are going to just naturally start making really poor choices for, you know, a long stretch of time. Do not do it. Know yourself, stay true to your mission and your reason why you're choosing to eat the way you eat. Um, and so give yourself some grace. Do not, um, sabotage your happiness. Um, and, the enjoyment that you're going to have on a beautiful vacation with your family just because there's a certain way that you are eating. So try to be flexible, but know your limits as well. So I hope you found this video helpful, you guys. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I am here for you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.